guys and welcome back to vlogmas i think this is day eight yeah i'm just about to go ahead and edit vlogmas from yesterday this is how i think it's going to be a good idea to start off my days like this i can just like get up for you guys as early as possible so i'm going to go ahead and do that i just took squirtle on a nice little walk and now i'm just having a this is a dirty chai from actually it's from the other night at pie hole because for some reason i was not in the mood to drink it there so i've had it in my fridge since then so hopefully it's still good i just heated up in the microwave for a bit god i just love when he does this like look at his little face hello guys so i just put out my vlogmas from yesterday it took a while to edit because i ended up getting a 28 minute long vlog yesterday i don't really know how but i think in all of my clips i was just talking like a lot but hopefully you guys enjoyed that um usually you guys say that you like the vlogs longer but let me know i would love to hear your thoughts um in the comment section if you do like longer vlogs like do you get excited when a vlog is like longer than 10 minutes or longer than 15 minutes or would you rather watch like a vlog that's under 10 minutes because that's something that i feel like is different for different people um i personally actually like shorter videos i guess just because like when i see a video that's like almost 30 minutes long i'm like that's gonna just like really take up a lot of time in my day to watch but you guys get like excited about that stuff it seems so let me know because I mean I can try to make the vlogs longer or a little bit shorter just depending on what most of you guys like. But honestly, <laughs> that's like the only thing I've done today. I just took Squirt on a walk. I'm going to take a shower now and then I, I'm cooking. Um, I'm like preheating my oven. My oven takes like longer than 30 minutes to preheat and I don't know why. I think that's so long but I'm... I'm gonna make this vegan pizza that I've I've had it in my fridge for or in my freezer for a really long time and I haven't made it so I'm gonna cook it. Hopefully that's good. I have class in about two and a half hours. It's like four or something now and I have class at seven. So luckily I don't have anything due for my class tonight, but I basically have three final projects in the next um like eight days. So I'll have two due next week and then I have one that's due tomorrow that I need to actually work on. However, it's really, I mean, I think it's just going to take me a few hours. And if I can, like, really, really focus and not have any distractions, um, I think I can definitely knock it all out tonight when I get home from class. Okay, so pretty much that's what's going on. <laughs> wow, look at that beautiful margarita pizza. Now look at that. <laughs> look how much different it looks on the box. Why do they even like make the picture look like that? Like how could it actually ever look that appetizing when in reality it looks like this? It's actually a pretty small pizza so I might like go in on all of it. Hopefully it's good. Um, like I said, this is literally dairy free, gluten free, everything free basically. <laughs> so I just bought it to try, you know? So I'll give you my thoughts. Look at my freaking hair. I was like cooking my pizza while I was in the shower and then I got out and I was like, I need to eat it. I was pretty pleased. I was pretty pleased with the pizza. Honestly, it was pretty good. I would eat it again and I still have half of it left so I'm gonna eat it again. What's going on here? Hello guys, so I actually went to class and I was in a quite the rush on my way out. So I was attacking a toy over there. So I didn't film before I left for class, but I did ready myself. So I curled my hair while I took a shower. All right, excited boy over there because he just went out and did his boo his business. <laughs> I curled my hair. I did my makeup, which was so unnecessary because all we did in my class was watch a freaking movie. I watched some old French movie that was we watched. We just watched it with English subtitles. It was actually pretty interesting. Um, I don't remember what it was called because the name was in French. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing. The shirt is from Unif. I totally wore it like last week, but I wanted to wear it like as a dress with a flannel tied around, and then with knee-high socks, and then I have just on these boots from Topshop that are like. I don't know if they're kind of like a Doc Martin feel, but they're not. They're not that comfortable. They give me like blisters every time I wear them, so sorry for his squeaking. But Still haven't gone food shopping, which is just like honestly just unacceptable at this point. But I have a project to work on tonight, like I was telling you guys, so I'm gonna do that. 
Um, and I really, really, really want to focus on that. I'm probably going to order just Postmates because because I want to. <laughs> so I'm going to order food, do my project. I'm sorry this vlog has not been exciting at all. It's just been like a day of like... I don't even know what this day has been. These clips, I feel like, have been really boring, but <laughs> maybe when I'm finished with my project, I can show you guys. Um, so. I can't believe I got LA Cafe again. Honestly, though, this was the fastest I've ever gotten, like, postmated. Like, I swear to God, within 15 minutes of, like, placing my order, the guy was here. And I think it's just because LA Cafe is so close to, like, where I live. But still, amazing. So... I got fries, obviously, and then I don't know why I got a separate side of chips, I guess. I think the wrap that I got, um, which is like a veggie wrap, I need to unwrap the wrap. <laughs> um, I think this just comes with chips and I wasn't aware, but I'm just gonna save them because they're actually really good chips. I got a side of ranch, a ketchup, and then this is like a veggie wrap. That Honestly, you guys, how freaking good does this look? I think this is gonna be my new favorite thing. So it's a veggie wrap and it has lettuce, tomato avocado and cheese i think that's it it has cucumber too but i got it without and then it's like a sun-dried tomato flour tortilla and then we got you gotta have the side of ranch and also fries so i'm about to go in he's going insane you just ate your, you just ate i know my food is better but you just ate okay i love you currently trying to get one of these png are called a tra it's like a trademark um i'm literally on the first slide of my project but you know you gotta start somewhere oh, i just noticed my nose is freaking like stuffed up it's not good since i literally like just am getting over being sick but okay anyway i just finished my final project it i got a little bit dilly dally dilly dallied in the middle there um it's like 2 30 or something but like this is just how i work like i do everything like the day before the night before the morning of that it's due basically that's just like how i work like i'm the biggest procrastinator ever for this class we had to create like a business or an app and i like my idea so much that I'm, first of all, I'm doing it for two classes differently though. And second of all, I like really, really want to create this app. I'm gonna just give you like a little overview. I like sharing my projects with you guys because it's something that like I can show my creativity to you guys in a way that's uh, that's not like a video um, and show you kind of like the ideas that I have in my head. Here we go, Festy by Lindsay Hughes. All right, Festy is my app, and basically it is a community based off of the music that you listen to. To get the app, it kind of scans your music, but also you can manually put in like your favorite artists, genres, mostly it's like connects based off of your favorite artists. Um, also, you can match with people that are going to like, well, you can match with people based off of your music taste, also that are going to an upcoming festival, so you can like meet up with new friends, and you can connect with people all over the world based off of the similar music that you listen to, so this is something that I actually really, really, really am passionate about and kind of think there is a need for. Also, not only that, like if you don't attend festivals you can still totally use the app and you can use it to um, create and gift playlists for your friends so I want it to be something that's like you're giving you're giving back to your friends so if you don't want to spend money on like gifts for friends you can make them like a very specific playlist and you can like on the app you can gift it to them and it'll like send it to them and give them a cute little like i don't know it'll do like a cute little graphic and it'll just like be like oh but Lindsay made you a playlist for your birthday blah, blah blah and then it'll like show them the playlist so yeah um it's gonna be a free app in well ideally this is like the little mission statement and then we just have target market demographics as well as psychographics. I'll redo that. Festy users are huge music lovers. Music consumes a portion of their daily life. They spend their money on concerts and festivals and they connect with people at these events. They are genuinely positive people who enjoy taking risks, being adventurous, and love meeting new people. They are generally liberal, open-minded people who are passionate about art, the environment, and mind, body, spirit, health. This is just like what I would say is psychographics of people that I've met that attend at least camping festivals. 
Okay, competitors, these are basically the competitors. There's a similar kind of app that you can match with people called Taste Buds based off of Music Taste, and then 8Tracks is um, a competitor because you can make you know playlists and stuff like that for people. It's really good for that, and then basically this is just like the app that you would have for any specific festival, like the Coachella app, the Bonnaroo app, um, etc. So, Taste Buds versus Festi, Eight tracks versus Festi, and then the app versus Festi. Yeah, I know this has a lot of text on it, but I feel like all of this is important. Um, yeah. I might change some of this. This is like a rough thing. Like, basically, tomorrow we're not actually presenting. We're just turning this in to our teacher, and I think she might be giving, like, feedback. So, yeah. Um, this is just my initial thing. This is, like, the initial launch. So, it's going to be launched as an app and then also we're gonna have um, booths at a ton of festivals to like spread the word influencer outreach um, I chose Evelina Berry and Jen I'm Jen M Jen M it's Jen M I think yeah and um, I didn't really like go on but they would just basically like promote the app initial funding it's kind of like boring but we had to talk about how we would like get money for our thing and then monetization also kind of boring but basically how the app is gonna like make money and that's that um honestly that didn't seem like a lot that i was showing you it did take me a few hours however like i th i think i said it wasn't like a it's not like a huge project <laughs> i mean as you can see it's literally just kind of like a powerpoint that's my project um i genuinely would like to know in the comments what you guys think about my idea and if you think this is an actually like good idea that you think people would use like i said it's more than just for people that like go to festivals because i know a lot of people just don't go to festivals and um either you know just can't like afford it or just like don't want to go to festivals or just aren't interested in festivals but like i feel like pretty much everyone likes music and i want the app to be able to connect people through music because that's one of my favorite ways to connect with people What's really going on here i'm gonna stop talking about it because this is literally just like an idea in my head and i don't want to say everything about it that's probably not a good idea to say like every single thing that i want to do with this idea but this is like the first thing that came to my mind for creating some sort of like an app or an organization or a community that's that i am gonna take off my face why is my nose like actually running like this is gross hello friends so i am about to pass out i hope you enjoyed the vlog for oh my god downtown is so freaking loud at all hours of the day and night um i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog for today please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are liking vlogmas because i would love to know and uh that's about it okay i will see you tomorrow bye Ooh.